Hi, I'm John Jeremiah. I lead product marketing at GitLab and part of the strategic marketing team. And I'd like to start off today by sharing our group conversation, which is an update of what we've been doing for the last six weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. So six weeks ago, we shared an update with all of the things we were working on. And today is a follow on to that to talk about where we're at and what we're doing. So we're going to start with some new team members, welcoming people who are new. We'll talk about what's new and some highlights. And then I'm going to quickly go through a couple of other slides and we'll wrap up. This is a quick summary in preparation for our call so we can talk about things. So to start with, I want to welcome Alita Bell. She joined GitLab as a part of the competitive intelligence team. Uh, she's helping us work on competitive intelligence and all of the different things we're doing to understand how GitLab competes in the market. So welcome, Alita. Uh, also, if we look at some summaries of high-level highlights from what we've done in the last, in just the last six weeks, we've had a number of different demos looking at competitive about Azure DevOps and GitHub and how we do competitive. We shared that at sales kickoff. We also did a, a whole lot of things around partner and channel marketing at sales kickoff in order to help the sales team be effective. Uh, similarly, you'll see again, we talked about competitive sessions, again, helping the sales team become effective at our first sales kickoff huge event. Uh, in product marketing, one of the things we started to work on, we kicked off was use cases. And we started a go-to-market process of looking at use cases. And I'll share some more of the details on that. We also introduced this capability called, you know, we, we introduced of how to do epic templates uh, of basically using spreadsheets as a way to upload and to manage a group of related issues and create epics on the fly. Check that out if you get a chance. And we've been working on our public sector go-to-market as well as a key highlight. Uh, coming back to this, six weeks ago we talked about, we introduced the idea that we're going to use use cases as a way to deliver and to do go-to-market planning, as a way to communicate and connect with customers and others that are looking for specific uh, ways to solve problems they're having around use cases. And these discrete problems they're trying to solve, we're, we're building out, we've created a bill of materials that work on it. We've actually have updated this uh, as we go. And let's see, clicked on the wrong link there. Uh, as we go. So this is the bill of materials, it's a snapshot of our current state. And if you were to go to the web page, you can see how we're doing. Uh, but we've created the landing pages for a number of these and other parts are coming together. And as we work on this bill of materials, we're using GitLab to manage it. Uh, let me show you a little bit about how we're doing that because what we're using and we're doing is we're using GitLab epics and issues and milestones to manage it. So this is the roadmap view showing how we're managing the different uh, the different use cases in each of the individual epics. And if we click on any one of these, double click into it to take a look at what's happening in the individual epics, we can see the related, the associated related issues of how they're coming. We're a little bit behind on some. We didn't, we hadn't quite anticipated the impact sales kickoff would have. So we're, well, we're catching up on a few of them, but we're, we're managing and working our way through this as we build these out. Uh, furthermore, if we double click in, we can go all the way into looking at uh, how we're building out this and managing it all the way down into specific milestones with the work. And so as we come together on working on all of this together, we're building the use cases in order to help sales and campaigns and everything aligned to work together to help with our messaging as we go to market. Uh, as we look forward, right now we're working on source code management, continuous integration, and DevSecOps. These three are the priorities that we started on last month. Uh, based on some feedback we've had from partner, from the partner team, the alliances team, and others, we've, we've, we're going to start GitOps and infrastructure as code later on this month in March and moving it up a little bit so we can get started on it earlier. And we're also having some conversations about possibly looking at maybe moving cloud native up and reprioritizing and adjusting a little bit. We're flexible and we're agile in our approach to this, so we're trying to be responsive to where we're moving in both to what's happening in the market and what's happening in the product. So we're working collaboratively across the organization to make this all come together. Uh, and with that, I'm going to click through a couple of these others and wrap this up. We'll talk about it. We'll take questions later on uh, in the session, but this video is a quick, intended to be a really quick summary. Uh, a couple of interesting, you know, demo assets that have come together around the technical marketing team. Uh, they've been working really hard about building out demos and presentations, both for sales kickoff and for the larger organization. Uh, in product marketing, uh, you know, we've been doing a lot of work. The use case go-to-market work has been a, a significant area we've been working, although I would highlight that we've worked on a couple of different analyst submissions, whether it was uh, MQ or Waves. We've been doing those. We're doing webcasts and also participating in events. Uh, we did a series of uh, events with uh, CXOs in, in Asia Pacific. We just completed that last week uh, while we were still doing some traveling. Uh, but uh, all in all, we've been doing a lot of things to help 
promote and do positioning. In customer insights and market research, uh, had a great video from uh, one of our customers at the sales kickoff, which was fantastic. Chris was amazing and is an amazing partner that we work with over time. Uh, he's given us great feedback and insight. We've done a number of different events with analysts across the spectrum uh, of doing lots of work to, to engage and partner and give briefings and giving them updates. Uh, similarly, if we look at competitive intelligence, this team is growing. It's where Alita just joined. They're working on comparison pages. There's a comparison redesign activity we're doing, and we're working really hard on trying to look at how do we do comparisons to help that grow and to scale in a way that's useful and will attract more traffic in the market. Uh, so more, stay tuned on that. That work is uh, actively coming. It's being built out of the work we're doing on use cases around capabilities. And then we look at partner marketing. Again, lots of activities supporting work with Google Cloud and AWS. Uh, we're doing work across the board, trying to engage and help our messaging and positioning with partners everywhere. And as we look forward, priorities going forward, you know, one of the things in product marketing will continue is we're gonna keep working and focusing on use case, collectively working on campaigns, go to market. Uh, we'll have more, more assets. We have uh, Empowering Speed to Mission, a guide for government agencies, a white paper coming out, uh, continuing to work on this as we go forward across the board. So stay tuned on that. I look forward to you joining the call and asking questions tomorrow. And with that, have a great rest of your day and a great morning. And I look forward to seeing you on the call. Thanks for that and take care everyone.